Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you a brand new series of Seopolis, a mod pack by Beben Law. So don't worry, I'm going to finish the other series, but I wanted to get started on a new pack since the other one's on the conclusion and might take a bit more time for me to record because there are things I need to figure out. But today, brand new exciting pack with another different resource generation mechanism. So first off, in the quest line, there's the basic, and it's basically just reading. So let's go through it as fast as possible. Welcome to Seopolis 2, back again. Welcome to Seopolis 2, a water-based questing mod pack. And we got B-Bucks in there. Read the quest. The quest will help you on your way to survive in to survival in the ocean. You don't need to claim the quest. We'll claim them all at the same time at the end. The world, water world. The world contains only four biomes, ocean, lukewarm ocean, deep, dark, and lush caves. Various structures spawns both above, on, and below the water. Going below level 60 will de deal damage to you in the water. Ores do not spawn, but if you somehow make them spawn, they won't drop anything when mined. Uh, B-Bucks, money. B-Bucks can be used to buy items from the shop. The shop is at the top of the quest line, and more stuff will unlock as you progress through the pack. Meshes. Meshes are used in sieves to produce items from certain block. Every additional upgrade to your meshes will add an extra chance to get items. So yes, it's a sieving mod pack, but it's not sieving standard stuff. There's going to be very weird resources in this cool, and it's not one of those things where uh, each level of the mesh gives you different resource, add more resource. It's always the same resources, it's just way more chance of getting them. So it's always good to upgrade. FTB Ultimine, Super Mining. By default, holding the Grave Key will activate FTB Ultimine. This allows you to mine a large amount of block quickly. There's no undo function to this, so use at your own risk. Tome. Contains many different guides and manuals for tome, so this will give us the Akashic Tome that contains many tomes in it. FTB Quest, Quests. FTB Quest allows you to team up with your friends and complete quests together. I don't have any friends, so that's not a concern. Press K and Z. Pressing K on certain items will try to craft them into a 2x2 two two or 3x3. Three three. Useful for Pebble. Zoom, press Z to zoom. The 3x3 three three only work when you're in a crafting table though, because you don't have a 3x3 three three crafting. So Z, look at this. <gasps> Ooh, some ducks and goose and a beautiful boat and a raft there. And what else? <gasps> Ooh, a underwater ball and a different type of boat and another little boat right there so these things are very important i'm going to tell you right now if you start your playthrough and you don't see at least one of these balls or one of these ships, well especially one of these ships nearby reload try another name another seed because this boat is going to save us a butt ton of time and it's really important that you have it if you don't want to have to waste hours on resource. Chapter challenges, they're back. Chapter challenges, or CC for short, are special quest line which will give you a good reward. Yes, they will. Map, press G to open a full screen map to see all the ocean around you. So basically we got uh, a journey map in it. First thing we're going to do, waypoint new mob base. Because when we go adventuring on the water, I, don't, I need to know where to come back to. Ben Boozled. You have been Ben Boozled. Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, then, hey. Oh, there's no reward. That's why. Octagon Quest. These quests unlock additional item from the shop. This one basically unlocks the shop. We've unlocked the shop. We've completed the basics. And like I've told you, all of these rewards I've not claimed. If I click here... Boom, it gives me Driftwood Crate and B-Bucks all at the same time. So now, let's just take a quick look at the shop. Shopping spree. So right now, there are three, four, five, six, seven things we can buy if we have the money. A floating block can be placed in the air without a supporting block. Also works in water, so we can put that anywhere to start another island further away. XP gives you some level. 24 experience droplets. Luggage. A little friend that holds your item. B bucks coffee. Don't think I'm gonna need that. Water breeding potion for eight minutes. That's gonna be useful because I don't know when we're gonna get blaze rod. 
sponges, dries up a rear of water, more place together will clear a bigger area. Okay, and time in a bottle, saves time by saving time. So that's definitely something that we want to buy sooner rather than later so that we can get started accruing time. Okay, so that's all of the quests that I wanted to sh show and read, and now we can get started. Basic material, driftwood crate. Various structures contain driftwood crate. When broken, will drop useful items. So we've got some driftwood crate right here. Basically, we've got seven. And to these seven, I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to hold, oh, yeah, options. Let me show you some controls. So if you come here to the keybind and you search for Altimine, it's, for me, it's on the slash. The slash is also the same thing for the chest, uh, for the, uh, what's it called? I moved it to a different key for a call, call for luggage, for the luggage. Okay, the call for luggage was also slash. So every time I would old slash to Altimine, I would hear whistle, whistling sound all the time. It was so annoying. I also made a change to the options here I went to controls, keybind, and I also made a change for quest that I put on my standard minus because it's close to my mouse and that's what I love. Perfect. So we're going to drop down from here. We're going to old ulti mine and we're going to mine all of this. And these crates are going to give me random drops. And we got some mud, which we need. And we got the good old oak sapling. To be honest, if you do not get the oak sapling, I would say go around and break uh, chests until... Uh, crates until you get that sapling it's just it, it is the most efficient tree to grow when working to be able to get resources fast so i'm going to do this quickly and i'm going to come back here and do this and by the way quickly uh no so let's continue so i'm going to put down these two right here some things are going to fall in the water but it's okay to begin with so we got an apple Perfect, which is going to be, give us four more. We got some mud, has a chance to drop from breaking at the Riftwood Crate. We got a couple of uh, saplings, that's good. And this is just a don't be alone. And it gives us a beautiful little duck that we can put here and that we're going to hear quack. I'm going to leave it here for the beginning, but at some point I'm going to get rid of him because it's going to annoy me. And we got some Driftwood Log. And if you didn't get any Driftwood Log, well, there's plenty around here you can just break them. But I'm going to claim those and I'm going to turn all of those into plank. So basically, let's say you didn't get a sapling and you didn't want to go explore far to start. Well, you would at least be able to make the crafting table out of driftwood plank. But we did get a sapling, so I'm just going to do that. And we're going to ulti mine with our end and get all of that sweet, sweet wood and hope that we get more saplings yes we got four sapling five saplings so we're good so i'm going to do this another time and ulti mine again and we got so things have fallen in the water they'll float back up and i'll pick them up later but i have my sapling let's do it one last time which at least is going to help me get started oh and by the way uh, this mod pack has something weird that when the tree grew above me, I went down on, uh, lay down on the ground so that I would be able to be under the tree instead of being stuck in the leaves. Okay, so one last time, just for the fun of it. And let's claim all of this. And that should be about a stack of wood, which should be, oh, which should be enough to get started with our stuff. So I guess the fourth one in the back had not grown. Oh, and one more apple. So like I said, they go down in the water, but then they float back up and you can always pick them back up. So it's not a problem. And there's a goose egg or a duck egg back there. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's continue. So we got some log logs. We're going to change a log into four planks and these four planks into a crafting table. And we're going to go right here and plop it down. So now we got the planks and the crafting table and now it's time to equip ourselves for the trees okay so we want wooden crook and wooden shears to be able to get started properly so let's transform all of these and shears are this easy just two like this and you know what wooden crook is like this we'll do at least one wooden crook to make sure that we 
just make sure you never run out of oak sapling because you don't want to have to go back uh, to find some somewhere. And I'm going to make two wooden axe for now, like this. And then I'm going to put one mud right here, one tree right there. And then we're going to work for those. Oh, sometimes it does do that. You just move out of the range and try to continue working. We're going to use the wooden crook, which finally gave us some worms, which was a quest. So crook right here gives us a golden crook some silkworm and I'm going to now grow this tree and what do you do with silkworm well you infest trees so let's do this and this this is started and while we're waiting we're just going to continue harvesting this don't forget to old ulti mine and well then let's put some more I'm gonna grow up the platform later right now like I said I just I don't want to waste any productive time so let's do this and let's finish our wooden crook and now let's use the wooden shears for the rest and yeah they fell in the water don't worry they're gonna float back up and I'm gonna grab them later and voila Whee. they're right here I don't know why they were this deep usually they just float right back up to the top and okay so this these infested leaves are all infested i'm going to use the golden crook on them I, I see no reason to keep the golden crook which gives us string and what do you think they want us to do with strings use oh why am i not reading the quest silkworm placing a silkworm onto leaves will slowly convert them into infested leaves infested leaves silkworming leaves will turn them into infested infesting leaves after a period of time this will make infested leaves Using a crook on infesting leaves will drop strings and worms. And then we can make some white wool. We're going to make three of them. One, two, three. Put them in our inventory to detect. And what do you do with wool and wood? A good old Minecraft bed. I can then place down right here and sleep away tonight because I don't like darkness in videos, which is... I wish there was an option where I just could say no darkness, always see through darkness so that I could always have good quality on the video. It's just the night is not a good option. Okay, so let's just put this back and I don't want to have trees bothering me while I'm doing the rest of the work. So I'm just going to finish this right here, finish the crook, uh, not the crook, finish the wooden shears and I have another wooden shear right here. Let's also finish this one oh, so i don't know what's going on with the leaves they should be floating and apparently they don't want to float today so I'm just going to grab them quickly and we're going to be able to continue with a couple of quests so let's just get rid of those and like i said i want to finish the the shears i don't want to have like half broken shears this should yeah this should handle it we're going to do the wooden axe which is going to destroy it and then we're going to do the axe again which unfortunately i you should always break from the bottom that was my bad i forgot to do that okay so now we have plenty of resource so we got the shears perfect we got the leaves perfect the white wool string can be used to make wool wool can also be found in the world on both so i could technically have used the wool back there or this wool right here i just wanted to follow the quest line for now sleepy time yes i was sleepy i slept i'm done okay so now we need to craft crafting automat an automatic crafting table requires a redstone pulse to craft it's made out of five crafting table then a chest that's very standard then wooden hoppers uh well they're not unlocked yet so let's just do this and do uh five crafting table one two three four five and for the chest i'm going to use the special recipe of four at the same time with logs so that's two quests perfect that gives us a second one that gives us four more now we can make a wooden hopper wooden hopper are made with a chest or with just plain old log uh i i'm gonna make like a couple of these Mm, let me just make more wood and then like this and then like this i'm gonna make about eight i believe let's make eight like this perfect and uh, and then that's done a uh, hopper but wooden 
And then right here, it wants us to make a structured crafter. In world, auto crafting can use blocks or inventory to craft items. Example above show logs being made into plank and put inside the chest. The block requires a redstone signal to work. This picture is a liar because it's touching the ground. It needs to be one above the ground because the crafter here looks three, like one up and one down and one left and one right. And if there's part of the floor, it's going to say, oh, you want to craft also using the floor. So you have to be sure to be above. I'll show it in a later episode. I don't really intend on using this soon. So now I'm going to make this, which is made from just changing a crafting automat. And I'm also going to make some barrels and I'm going to make some leafy stew. Yummy. So it's basically bowls with jungle leaves. So let's come right here and let's make some, let's make the leafy stew right now because we're starting to be hungry and this is really good starting food. So let's do this. Then let's make some barrels. Uh, I'm going to make four barrels. One, two, three, four. And with this, I'm going to make this kind, sorry, oak barrel and a barrel that's a good old Minecraft barrel, by the way. So that's all done. And if we claim all these quests, so barrel, a barrel can be used to make various different items and blocks and then leafy stew yummy. Now it wants us to make dirt and most organic materials such as a sapling, food and leaves can be used to make dirt. So now we're going to do a semi kind of autumn. Let me take the bed. I don't want it here. It's kind of in the way. I'm just going to show that back here. So I'm going to do what I call a semi automation. I'm going to use the barrel. You know what? Let's make another barrel like this one and two and these around. Okay. So now I'm going to put a barrel right here. Uh, not right here. Sorry. Let me break this. I don't want to go too high. So one barrel here, then I'm going to put one wooden hopper right here. And on top of this, I'm going to put an oak barrel right here. Then another hopper right there and my other barrel right here. And then I can go like this and put all of my leaves in it. And these leaves are going to slowly turn into um, dirt. So see, they're progressing into dirt. We don't have a dirt yet. So right now, let me just, oh, I also forgot to craft the other special crafter that I don't want. Can it be turned back? Oh, yes, it can. So I could turn it back if I wanted. So let me get rid of a couple of things that we're not going to need for now. I don't like having a very cluttered inventory. So I'm just going to make a little bit of space and these. So I grab these driftwood plank because I want to do this. Like I'm going to build my island out of driftwood plank. Perfect. So you know what? Let's grab just a bit more and let's remake. So that's how easy food is. Food is just an annoyance that you actually have to get leave and craft it but it's that simple to make. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this. And like I said, I'm going to expand uh, the island in that direction because the boat is something that I want to be linked to at some point. So I want to start going this way like this. Oh yeah. Let's just do this one line and then this right here. And I'm going to do remove these little uh, walls. They're just, they're more annoying than anything because when you're trying to jump over them, it doesn't work. So let's just move those and those. And nothing is final in the placement of my, I don't know why I'm going to grab those. They, they really don't matter. It's just force of habit, I guess. So now let's just finish connecting these. This little corner. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't connect this corner. There's a good reason for it. I don't want to connect it because I'm going to be taking that raft down. And if it's touching, all team mine will detect it and we'll try to get everything at the same time. Okay, perfect. So now we should have some dirt. Perfect. I was kind of waiting a little bit on the dirt, which is why I was fine with doing a little bit of house cleaning. But this quest line is already done. Now we need to move on to stone. So we need string meshes. So, oh, what does it say? I forgot to read it. String mesh can be used to make inside sieves. Uh, I'm going to make nine of those. So let's just go 
You can push everything by holding shift. When you hold shift and you click, it goes into the crafting grid. Once it's there, you can say balance grid to separate between where things are. Like let's say I did this and I said balance grid. See, everything's semi-balanced. If you hold shift, it can say spread and then it balance across everything. We're going to make nine of these and then that's going to open two quest line and give us a reward mesh. Drying table can be used to dry item and sieves. A sieves requires a mesh inside to sieve for items. Up to nine sieve can be used at once if placed in a three by three and the middle block is used. So we need, that's why I made nine string mesh. The question you could ask then is, well, why did you make nine when you knew it was gonna give you one as a reward? Because the drying rack also uses one. So now I still have the nine that I require. So let's do this. I want to make nine, so I'm going to need more stick and I'm going to need more wood. And then I should be able, nope, I'm going to need more plank. Perfect. So nine plank, split like this, do this, and voila, nine meshes, uh, nine sieves, sorry. So this is done. It gives me a second. This is done. It doesn't give me a reward. Let's just get rid of the string and let's get rid of the drying table. I'm not gonna be using them for a little while yet. Pebbles, sifting dirt will find pebbles which can be used to make different stones. Great. So let's do that. Uh, we'll grab that dirt again and then I can go one, two, three, four, five, six and I'm going to expand my island just a little bit because I wanna make sure that I have space around so that my drop don't fall in the water again. They shouldn't fly around really far, so just one block is going to be okay. One, two, three. Now I'm going to put the nine meshes in. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. And we're ready. And look at this. All nine at the same time. And voila. Oh, and I'm just going to do this one by itself. And voila. So now we should have pebbles aplenty. So it gave us pebble. And specifically, specifically, stone pebbles which are used to make what do you think cobblestone so yeah okay we're going to come right here and i'm going to show you the k thing so if i mouse over the stone pebble and i press k boom cobblestone and that works with everything i'm not going to transform the other ones yet but i've got the cobblestone done for now which means that the next quest is done which means that we can now make a furnace. So let's go right here and make our very first furnace. And we're going to put the furnace down right here and we're going to start cooking some wood because I wanna get some charcoal because that's also a quest. So the first piece of charcoal, I'm gonna reinvest and put back in the furnace because that's gonna make us eight more charcoal. And then uh, we can continue with the quest line Come on, come on, come on. One more, perfect. So now, if I go back to the quest line, we got the furnace used to smelt items. Oh no, don't tell me. Smelted logs makes charcoal. Yeah, okay. Now we need to make some torches. It's always good to have torches because it's night and I like to light up my platform. Oh, that gave me some extra ones. So now I'm gonna come right here and put a torch right here, a torch right here here and here and oh that's it that's all of the torches that i had and let's go to sleep because i don't need the night perfect so then if i go back to the next next quest it wants us to make a crucible so you know what let's make that oak wooden crucible oh sorry and i'm going to need some of those so let's come back here and, oh no, I burned my only plank. Okay, that was done. So I need a plank, I need two sticks, and I need some oak log, and that will give me a crucible. Okay, so I can put my crucible on top, so I should have read the quest, so right here. A wooden crucible can be used to melt down items into liquids. This can be used to melt leaves and sapling into water. So let's go right here and let's break this down. If I hold alt mine, we're going to break this and then we're going to break this. Perfect. And then uh, that's weird that it was. I lost all my sound again. Sometimes my sound just cuts up oh, and 
If I mute it and put it back on, it comes right back. Don't know why it causes, why I have that issue. It's a bit annoying, especially when you're trying to record. So let's grab some more axes and I want to switch to a full axe right now. Uh, let me just get rid of all of these stones. I want to switch to a full axe because I'm going to come back here and I'm going to ulti mine this. And see, this, if I had put the slab right here, would have attached. So now I can do this. And these are all of the slab. And I want those. Perfect. It said three, but look on the right, there's a 64 stack. Then grab all of these driftwood log, driftwood log, and driftwood log. And that's... Oh! I chew my axe away. Not that it's an important axe, but it's kind of a stupid move. So let's grab this. And there's nothing else floating in the water. And now I'm okay with expanding my island with no issue because it's not going to touch anything. Perfect. So let me just finish that right here, which is kind of useless, but I like symmetry. So let's come back right here and grab these. The other quest was to make some stone, and I like to do things in perfect charcoal. So I'm going to make eight just to use all of my charcoal. This I can... I'm going to put the planks that I'm using to build my island so that I don't waste time on that. Okay, so I'm going to grab that one stone because that's going to unlock the quest. So if I come back here, the crucible's done, the stone's done, and we've unlocked the hammer time. It's octagonal, so it opens up quests somewhere else. And what did it open in the shop? It opened up uh, nothing, so nothing in the shop. So it's used to open shop stuff and also open other quest line, like Hammer Time has been started. Okay, so if I go back to stone, I have very important items to make, a click machine, a basic item collector, and the redstone clock I don't really need right now. So the click machine automatically right clicks on block, click machine. It's any pebbles with a chest and a wooden hopper. And the basic item collector can collect items dropped within a 3x3x3 area around it. It is made from 5 hopper and 2 stones. So, we're going to want to make lava at some point. And lava can not be made with tough pebble, cannot be made with calcite pebble, cannot be made with uh, dripstone, and cannot be made with basalt. So, these are three resources, pebbles, that I don't care I can use at will. So I'm going to go like this and go seven like this and one chest and one hopper to get a click machine. And then I'm going to go five hopper and two tough. Uh, I'm going to keep four and two dripstone. And that's going to give us the basic item collector. And for the other item, I need four buttons. So the redstone clock, I know how to make by heart, I think. I think it's four button. Nope. Can it be make with, made with dripstone? So if I put one dripstone like this and I go buttons, no. So redstone clock, where is it? It infested deep slate tuft. So, oh, it's going to work with, let's try the basalt because I kind of want to keep a block of each. So if I do this, you know what? I give up. Let's just use the tuft. We'll get some more later anyway. Voila! So we're going to store that away. And that and these. And now we have this. So let's just undo what we did. And we're just going to change things around a little bit. I kind of forgot how I wanted to make the setup. So I went just a little bit too fast. So I'm going to put a block right here and a block right there. And I'm going to go one more higher. Then I'm going to put this down so it's pointing upward. Perfect. Now I can grab back my wooden axe and axe all of this. Perfect. And I'm going to need some way of getting up there. So like this. And then we're going to put the oak sieve on top of this. And I'm putting it this high so I can put some pipes later and so that I can have easy access under when I want to go and do stuff under. So now I can break that one right here. And then we can put back the mesh. And then we're going to make another extra setup. So one, two, then we're going to put a chest. 
and then we're going to break that back down so chest right here basic item collector and if i mouse over you can see it covers the top of everything so now i can come back here and wow i already out of so let's take the five dirt but the beauty is i can now come down here do this and let the machine use rainbow magic power to sieve and i'm just going to back away because i don't want to grab any of the, the items and it's done everything disappeared if you come in here no everything's in here so yeah it's super amazing okay let's break all of this down and i think we did another quest line yes so grab 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 and oh no because we haven't cooked some apple do i have eight apples you don't even have oh yes i have 16 apple okay so let's do this put the apples and yes i'm going to cook all 16 because it's not bad i'm going to need some apples anyway so i kind of forgot back to the crucible right here to melt leaves so if i put the crucible like i'm going to put a torch right here and i'm going to put the crucible on top here and now you see that the crucible has a heat of five well there's something better than a heat of five. Let's make a good old campfire. Like this. And well, let's make two campfire. We're going to need the other one later. So let's do this and one, two, and make two campfire because campfire have a heat of 15. Voila. So now, now we need some more leaves. So unfortunately, let's do the little torque at work and get some leaves. Perfect. Do this and this. And by the way, the oak crucible can have more than a bucket of water. So I'm going to put a wooden hopper and I'm going to put 64 leaves there and 32 right here. So now our dirt production is restarted and we're going to need more dirt than that. So unfortunately, I kind of have to do this a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to use the good axe because I don't want to risk not getting the top. So let's do this and now i need some more wooden shears because like i said we're going to need more wood uh more uh dirt so let's do this and let's do this and then let's grab so like i said the last time make sure to do it from the bottom so that when your axe break you don't have everything split in two you have the top part just easily accessible so like this Wow, this one grew kind of far. I can see both, both are grown. Let's just do shears and some more shearing. And I really should make the, the floor a bit bigger. Let me just break all of this, come back here. And oh wow, three stacks. We should be better with three stacks right now. So let me grab some planks and let's just make this two longer. Oh, come on. This and this. And let me go one further. And one further, further. I have a minimum that I need to set up to be able to be efficient. And this. So now I can come back here. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I want to put stuff all over the place. I can do like this. Break this one right here. And another one right here. Perfect. So now get rid of these things. And now I can do nine at a time. Voila, perfect. So let's just grab this. And do I have any shears? No, I broke all of my shears. So let's just go back here. And at the same time, let's fix this. Grab whatever dirt we have. Oh, nine. Nine is such a perfect number because when I put it in the machine, it's going to do all nine at the same time. Three pairs of shears and let's go. 
and see now nothing is falling in the water anymore so that was real really worth taking the time and it also going to provide us with way more wood so like this and like this and grab the rest put down back some more trees and let's put that in here and let's continue with the quest line okay so this is completely done but like I said, so I'm going to talk about this one a bit later. Let's go to hammer time. So hammer time. Uh, oh, let's go to hammer time, not closing this. So we need to make a hammer. When used on certain block, we'll break them into others. And you can make hammer with almost anything. Again, we're going to use uh, some time. Like, let's use the calcite. Let's use something that we don't really, that we can't really melt. So two calcite like this, I need some sticks. So, so two calcite like this with makes a calcite hammer. Perfect. And let's look at this. Wow, already three buckets. So this is going well. Uh, let's go back. So we've got the hammer and now it wants us to make gravel. So sorry, let's see right here how much pebbles we have. Nope, not the andesite. Let's grab the stone pebbles. Perfect. And I think we have some more in here. Perfect. And we'll use K on. Nope. Not J. Ugh. Let's use K on it, which is going to give us 18 cobble. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So a mod pack creator doesn't want this to be too grindy. So you can compress your cobblestone. And then you can use the, the hammer and alt mine and go from. 18 cobblestone to 18 gravel immediately so now we have gravel and the next step is to get some flint so for the flint i want i think i need 16 flint so i'm going to go and for this i'm going to do it manually because i don't want to throw everything in the machine that's five flint so i'm going to need to do it another time i think i'm gonna it's a 50 percent drop chance so unfortunately we don't even have the 16 that we want, but that's okay. We're gonna be fine with 10 to begin with, and we're going to continue a bit later. So now we also want uh, some sand. So those four, and by the way, you can always do it in singles if you want to, is going to give us sand. And we want some glass. So now, unfortunately, I'm, I just want two glass. So I'm going to put two glass, and let's use four planks to cook this what oh I didn't grab my apples so the quest line was not finished so yeah cooked apples uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to use those I have my leafies too I'm more than happy with my leafies too because it gives 15 saturation so the moment I need it I'll just eat this so this is my glass let's go back to hammer time and we're trying to rush to a certain point, by the way. Like, I have a very specific goal in mind. So now I need fluid pipe. Fluid pipe in this mod pack are made with, guess what? Two glass and bizarrely, six flint. And the wrench is made with two flint and two stick. Like that. So let's go read these quests. So fluid pipe, move fluid from one place to another. Perfect. Pipe wrench, used to change pipes, pipes in between normal, disable, and extract like this and now we can come here and we can grab these barrels and we'll go one two three and we'll go barrel 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 and extract the water oh the tree grew and these perfect so all of these filled with water great because we don't have a bucket yet now we need to make some dust we can see the sand but i don't care about the sand right now like i said i'm a man on a mission i know exactly where i want to go with this so let's grab all of this and then we can go. We've got the dust. It's going to give us a reward. And we've made three sets of dust into clay. Hey, where's my third clay? Into three clays. And clay is going to unlock. Oh, it says it here. With water inside a barrel, you can right click on a block of dust on it to make a block of clay. Water can be collected from a crucible with leaves inside. Then we need dust. Sifting dust makes much smaller dust. So let's grab the seven dust that we have and I'm just gonna throw these in the machine. And let's check here, we have more dirt. We need more cobblestone, so I'm also going to put these in the machine. 
And we're just going to back away a little bit. And while we're waiting, we're going to grab these three clays and make 12 clay balls. So we already unlocked pottery, and that's why we're rushing. We're rushing toward the resource generator where we need ceramic and clay and porcelain clay and everything. So now we have the clay balls. And you know what? Let's start melting the lava. So I'm going to put this down right here and we're going to need a stone barrel. Can I, do I have enough stone? Oh yes, perfect. So like this and like this and that stone barrel, perfect. And now I'm going to need a couple, I'm going to use granite and the site diorite are three meltable products. And we got some small dust right here. So and the site granite and diorite, perfect. Let's just press K, 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 and that's it. Why did I not grab the stone pebble? So I'm going to show the rest of the pebbles in there for now. And I'm going to grab the stone pebbles right here to make some more, uh, some more cobblestone. Wow, difficult talking is. Okay, so let's come back right here and press K and K. And then I'm going to come and grab, do I still have wooden hoppers? Oh no, I've used all of my wooden hoppers. That is not a problem. I'm just going to make one more. Oh, like this and hopper. Uh, oak plank. Perfect. And let's make another barrel. I'm going to replace these barrel at some point, but for now it's really like good stuff. Let's do this. So now we can make, we can put this right here and then we're going to go above right here and put this. And so this one I could fill because it's only one space. The reason I want to put a barrel, oh, I did not expect this. Perfect. So the reason I put a barrel is that I'm going to want to make three to four lava. So four is going to be one lava. Another four is going to be another lava and uh, stone, driftwood, diorite. One, two, three, four is going to be another lava. So see, the diorite cannot go in there, but no, 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 no. It's... I'm going to need a stone barrel, but right now is not the stone barrel that I needed. What I needed, what I need is the crucible. So it's not the end of the world. I can break this down and replace it. It's just I'm doing things a bit out of order because I'm too excited. I wanted to get my lava started ASAP, but this was not the time for lava. Let's just do a pickaxe for when we need to move this. And let's continue the actual quest line to get to the right point. So I want to make porcelain clay. Perfect. So let's come right here. Porcelain clay is made from dust and clay ball like this. So now if I come back here, porcelain clay is done and then we can make an unfired clay bucket. So let's make an unfired clay bucket. One, two, three. Oh, ten. That's perfect. And we can also make an unfired crucible. That is a bit more lucky than I was expecting, but great. So let's gra grab those two. Now we need to cook these things. Let's click. Let's do the unfired crucible first because that's the thing we're going to need the soonest. And I'm going to continue not using my oak right now because my oak is more expensive. Now that I have a fire crucible, I can come back here, break the stone barrel and do this like so. And we now have started making lava, which was the goal that I wanted to get to ASAP. I still have some shears, so let's do this and let's put all of the leaves in here and let's break this down. Whenever we have a chance, grab whatever we can and oh yeah, I got a couple more, but the next time I think I need to use a crook because I'm getting a bit dangerously low on this stuff. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this and let's make the crook right now so that I don't forget this and two crooks and then let's make some more shears you can never have 
too many shears. Let's put that right there. Perfect. Okay, so now we have the lava cooking. So we can continue. We got the fire crucible. Can be used to smelt cobblestone into lava. And now we have the ceramic bucket. Perfect. Now that we have a ceramic bucket, technically we can pick up water and put it in the oak barrel, which means we don't need the oak crucible anymore. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going when we tear everything down, that's one of the things that's going to have to go. Let's grab this. We still need more cobblestone and more pebbles, so let's do this. Okay, so at this point, let's see what cobblestone we have because we need more dust. Uh, no cobblestone whatsoever. Oh no, I have it on me. So let's grab all of this that we're going to make into compressed cobblestone that we're going to break down with my hammer. Did I put the hammer away? Yes, I did. So let's do this. And then let's eat before we go below three haunches. Look at the saturation. That's why this is amazingly good. Okay, so this is done. Now we need to... Uh, yeah, so we need more flint, but what we need more than flint right now is dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress once and try and get hopefully a bit more dust just with that. And again, see, I, I'm in the crafting grid. Now that I have access to 3x3, three three, I press K and it makes my compressed sense. So you can always do it that way, but you need to be into a... Uh, a crafting grid because your inventory does not have a three by three. So stone pebbles and more stone pebbles. So that's going to give me a bit more cobblestone. So let's press K and K and 18 is the perfect number. And if I come back here, five more dust, which is perfect because last time we did five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. I just don't want to overdo it with these porcelain clay. I'm going to make Two more buckets, two more unfired buckets that I'm going to cook immediately. And now let's go see if we have enough lava. Yes, so this bucket, because it's made out of ceramic, once I use it, it's going to break because the lava just breaks it. So unfortunately, the ceramic bucket with lava are single use. With water, though, they're not a problem. With water, you can reuse it. So this one with water, two with lava. And if I come back here, ceramic lava bucket. Lava can be used as fuel as well as underneath crucible to make them faster. Oh, and it gives us a free lava bucket. That's kind of cool. I forgot about that. Resource generator. Basically, a cobblestone generator works for different stone type as well. So we need to make a resource generator, which is six stone, well, six whatever, with ceramic and water. You can't mix and match. It has to be two ceramic or two, uh, like, iron okay if we look at the next one resource generator 2 basically a cobblestone generator works for a different stone type as well this resource generator can be made quicker so this one is made in the same way so how will that work recipe wise well it will i'm telling you so let's just come back here and for that i think that we can whoa Overly full inventory. I need to clear up a little bit of things. If I come back here, I don't need the stone barrel right now. So if I grab dripstone pebbles and I press K on them, that gives me eight. So I'll put six like this and one lava bucket and one water. Ah, I forgot. So the dripstone is the one that doesn't work. There's some that works. There's some, you know what? Where's my, no, calcite. So I have diorite here. If I press K on this, I now have six. If I grab the endocyte and I think basalts work. I'm not sure. Let's try with the basalt. So K, endocyte K, perfect. Let's come back here. Does it work with basalt? Apparently not. Okay. Does it work with granite yes it does so do you see this little button here so first let's make the first resource generator and i'm going to put that use water come right back here and i think you can miss and mix and match as long as it's the proper resource yes 
And then we're going to switch it over to resource generator 2 and make this one. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know why there's a resource generator 1 because the resource generator 2 is just superior in all ways. Okay, so let's come back right here. We're going to need uh, two, no, one hopper. Perfect, so let's do this and this and just a couple more. So we're going to make two barrels, like this, one and two, perfect. And then we're going to make one hopper like this. Well, perfect. So we're going to set up a barrel right here and right here. On this barrel, we're going to put the resource generator 2. Because the resource generator 2 doesn't need a hopper, it autos uh, drop into the barrel below. The resource generator 1 does need a hopper. So already one negative for it. Then the way this will work, and I'm going to use two gobblestone, and I'm going to start this one first. For this one, you put it in and it starts generating. For this one, you place whatever you want on top and it turns blue and it starts generating. So we started this one after. This one's at two. This one's still at one. And I've done the test with these two running. I left them running for a while. This barrel was full while this one was here maybe. Like this one is really faster. So I had to make one for the quest, but I don't really intend to make any more of these. Okay, which brings me to uh, the end of this episode. And just before we end the episode, just a little bit of blah, blah about my time lapse. Okay, so in my time lapse, I'm probably going to try to make another of these generator. And I'm going to want to start on a mob farm because if we come back here, the next step is hostile mobs. And for hostile mobs, we need blackstone pebbles. So we did get blackstone pebbles in here and I was careful not to use them. Blackstone pebbles are made into blackstone. So now let's press K. We now have a blackstone, which is going to give us four more. Four pebbles make a block. And then blank plate, just a blank plate used to make other plates. So if you put a blackstone into stone cutting, you get a blank plate. And vector plates in moves, items, and entities are made from three blank plates. So we can already make vector plates. So I'm going to move this one off of cobblestone right after this one. And I'm going to put it on blackstone because I want to make sure to get a lot of blackstone for the next episode because next episode I want to start my mob farm. Okay. And I'm going to put the vector plates in. And there's also the damage plate right here. Deals damage to entities that stand on it. The damage plate is three blank plate with a stone sword. Yeah, so it's really that easy to make. So there's no reason not to have a mob farm. Now, the problem with the mob farm is resources. So technically, I'm slowly making resources here. But with that, I would need to spend a half hour time lapse or more. But I do that when I already gave you the idea for what I'm going to do. It's super simple. Basically, we need materials. Let's make ourselves a boat. Let's put the boat down right here. And let's go see that boat right here because it's massive. It seems to be the size of a mob farm. So let's go in the back. I prefer going through the back. So right here, it's all made of concrete and terracotta and my intention let me just show you i don't have an axe okay so i'm that's not going to be a problem i'm just going to do this and make another uh crafting table that i'm going to put right here and then i'm going to make another axe right here because anyway i'm going to be working here for a long while so right under here right under here and i'm going to need to go back up so right this there are some planks if i break these planks under here is more terracotta pink so if you look at this and i'm going to remove this one just to show you this is one two three high so if i make a 
platform above, I'll have a tree high mob farm. And I can put vector plate down this way. And the vector plate are going to bring the mob to the front. And I'm going to put that back so that no mobs spawn. And you know what? I kind of screwed up. I should have slept before coming here because now there's probably going to be mob that's going to appear on the boat. So let's just go quickly try and sleep so that hopefully we don't get any mobs. But I, I still want to show you two things on the boat. But that's where I'm going to spend most of my time in my time lapse, gathering more wood, gathering more. And I'm not I'm done with sifting dirt. That's why I just semi automated the dirt. I have no intentions of sifting more dirt anymore because from now on, uh, I don't need dirt. I can make whatever cobble and the resource generator, all of these pebbles, the deep slate, the black, the whatever, it can produce all of those. That's why I wanted to keep four of each pebble because if, oh. Yay, monster hunter, and I killed my first skeleton. So the reason I came back here is that I wanted to show you this. There's also loot chests. And that's why it's also important to be close to one of those boats. Although there's so many, you could just navigate with a, a, with a uh, wooden boat and you'd fight some really soon. If you come here, well, look at this. Food, gold, carrots, and in this one, melon seed. And if I go around, so you can also get beetroot seed. You can also get pumpkin seed. So depending on the time that I have, I might also go a bit around and try and grab some stuff uh, from other boats because this is very good. Like the fact that you can get this. So I'm going to mine all of the wool. I'm going to mine the whole first level. I'm going to remove the rails. I'm going to close the top of the boat with stone and I'm going to cut the front and then I'm going to from the front go 20 pace away and from that 20 pace away, 24 pace away, sorry. I'm going to connect to that if I can. If it's too close, I'm just going to build my new island here. And that way, this is going to be my mob farm, which is going to propel the, the mobs from the back to the front. In the front here, there's going to be the plates that are going to kill the mobs. And I'm going to start getting mob drops. Now, the reason this is important is that if you come to CCI, this is the challenge to begin. That's why I cooked 16 apple. I need to give it 16 apple. I need to give it 64 of any sapling. I need to give it 256 leaves, 128 logs, 256 pebbles of any kind, 16 rotten flesh, eight gunpowder, and eight bones. And then I'm going to unlock the infinity wand, which is going to help me build my big island. So I'm not going to make my big island soon. I'm just going to prepare it but I'm gonna make the island as big as I want with that one. Also, if I come back here, in hostile mobs, all of these drop, well, you need all of these drops. So if I do this, hostile mobs will spawn in dark areas on and in the ocean. And then we need to get, oh, I already got this. I need to get some of each drop because then the next level, the fast vector plate, which are faster, are made with three vector plate and three rotten flesh. You've guessed it, the extreme vector plate, three bones. And you've guessed it, three gunpowders, okay? And then I can make main plate that deals damage to an entity but will not kill them, which might be useful if you want to kill them yourself to get player drops and experience. Or, uh oh how are they made? With three damage plate, a sword, and a wool, which is super easy, but the cake. The end goal is the player damage plate. Kills entity as if a player did so that it will drop experience and it will drop also a uh, player specific drop. That's a bit more complicated to do though. You need to get to ultra vector plate and three ultra vector plate makes one. So if I want six damage plate, I'm gonna need like 18 of these. So that's the plan for today. Let's just go up. Why? I hate how my escape key sometimes is in the wrong place. It's not me. It's not my fault. I'm not touching it by mistake. It's just it's in the wrong place on the keyboard. Well, it's the same place as every other keyboard. But for me, the way I'm set up, it's the wrong place. Anyway, so back here, like I said, uh, I'm going to just do a little bit more dirt. Well, just to make sure that I have one block of each 
that I'm gonna put aside in a chest to be able to produce whatever I want. Look at this. And I'm going to start uh, producing other like gravel to get more flint. I need more flint because the flint, if I come back to hammer time, item pipes are made with flint and chest. And look at the upgrades. Basic upgrade is made with four flint around the pipe. And the next level is four flint around the next level and four flint around the next level and four flint around the next level. And oh, that's something else. So that's not important for now. So we're going to be able to do all of that. And by the way, this right here, it wants us to make seagrass, whatever. Seagrass is obtained by sieving sand. So I do need to sieve a little bit of sand, but we're in a good position. This is a great start. That's what you want. Get to this re these resource ASAP. By the way, let me just do, how much do I have? So I'm going to switch this resource generator quickly because I want to show you something that's amazing. So if I remove this block and I come back here and I grab a stone block and I put a stone on top of here, it's still blue and it's producing stone. So yeah, every kind of resources can be made. So like I said, with the extra lava pot that I have right here, I'm going to make another one because I want one on cobblestone all time for the time lapse, one on blackstone so that I can make enough vector plate for my mob farm and one for a, a stone because I want to make the roof. So ideally in my time lapse, I'm going to finish my whole mob farm, make it all ready to place down the vector plate. Next episode, we're going to start by making the mob farm so that it starts accruing mob drops. And then we're also during my time lapse, I'm going to try and get the 64 leaves and like everything that I need to complete these right here. I already, you know what? Let's just do this. One last thing, grab the cook apple, come here, submit this and voila. So we already have one of them done. We just need uh, 256 leaves, 64 sapling, 128 wood. So those are all things that I'm gonna work on during my time lapse and the boat too. So guys, let me come down right here. I'm done with this episode. I'm gonna go to my time lapse now. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.